can you say today? I'm just wore out. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. this works. Last night video was black and white. It was. I don't have the ring light on here. I haven't talked to Omi yet, so I'm not sure what she's going to say about last night's video because she does watch these videos. Uh, plus, she has a little story about what happened to her after I turned the ring light out. And she walked off. She was seeing circles in all colors. She's going through the house. She said, I see red. I see green. She's talking about dots, circles, and all that stuff. So, she's going to be surprised that she soaked all the color out of our video. I think that's what happened. <laughs> I couldn't correct it. So, I went with it. It gave me the 1950s vibe of some of the shows that we watched uh, back when I was growing up. That's all we had was black and white TV. And uh, kind of uh, reminded me of the days when I wa used to watch I Love Lucy and Ethel and all them. Of course, I'm not quite sure if they were in black and white. I can't remember. But there were a lot of shows that were. And I know that uh, my brother loves a lot of the older shows, so he might get a kick out of the fact that it was black and white. Uh, they mentioned some shows like Petticoat Junction, and uh, I can't remember what all they were talking about. He had watched Green Acres, maybe. Yeah, and it's Me TV, and there's some other channels that have some of the older shows out. But anyway, I went ahead and posted it. No regrets because I knew that it wasn't the best pixelation, but I tried. <laughs> I did change my in and my out video as much black and white as I could just so you wouldn't have the sharp contrast of the coloring. And I think that worked pretty well because I didn't want to go from real pale to in your face to back pale and then in your face again. So I kind of try to make it all blend just like it would. That's my tail and I'm sticking to it and it's true, it is. Uh, like I said, I didn't even tell Omi what happened. I thought, well, I'll wait and see what kind of comments I get from her. She tried calling once, but I was out feeding the animals. So since I get done with this, I will let you know. <laughs> possibly in tomorrow night's video. There was another segment that's, I'm sure, black and white, because I, it, it got pretty long. Not all of it, but a little bit. And there was some other parts of it that I wanted to put together, but today, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not. We've had, uh, the whole month of September, we've been pretty much on the go. Uh, Omi went home Saturday. She was here for a little over two weeks. My brother was here for two weeks uh, total. Not two weeks totally up here because Omi and I were gone for three of those days. And then my sister was here weekend before last. And this past weekend, we had the girls. <laughs> it's too quiet around here, I think. But anyway... I said all that to say this. You know how when you have a house full of people, no one eats the same all the time. Yeah, I forgot to put my earrings in. I told you my brain's just not with it. Um, but you have different people, different personalities, different uh, taste on food. And I forget what we were doing here in the kitchen one day. My brother and my mom, I know we're sitting here at the table, and he just cracking out laughing. He's, 
I'm not sure if he said that needed to be a video or not, but I think it should sometime. But it's so spontaneous, I don't know if I'll ever catch it. Uh, had my little shorter dress on. What they used to call bobby socks, their little crew socks. I put them on a lot of times going out in the yard because of... Uh, I get ankle biters out there in the grass. I don't know if it's fleas, what it is, so I have like little bobby socks on. Crew socks is what they call them now. I had my little waitress apron on that I wear a lot of times. That way I can put my phone if I need some scissors, need to keep my keys with me, whatever. I had that on, I believe. And we were cracking up laughing, and I said, you know, I did a little video Similar to what you're talking about, not near as funny as that the day we were laughing. But it had to do with I felt like a short order cook. Do y'all ever feel that way? Uh, even this weekend, I don't do a lot of heavy cooking when I have the kids with me, for one thing. They probably wouldn't eat half of what I fixed. I have to keep it simplified. And even at that, I'm asking them. What would you like on this? What would you like on that? One will say, I want it toasted, not toasted. Mayonnaise, no mayonnaise. Ketchup, no mayonnaise. No onion, no tomato. You know how all that goes. Well, Omi and I were doing hamburgers one of the visits she was here. And I was cracking up. You didn't see me frying the hamburgers. Or you didn't hear the conversation before I decided to turn the camera on. But I felt like a short order cook that day, like I do on many days, especially when I have more people here. Omi can tell you, and it's, it's a fact, I try to accommodate as much as I can with what I have. So, I thought, instead of trying to rack my brain tonight to get my little black and white video finished, that's the follow-up to last night's video, and some of the things that we've been doing, I'm gonna give my brain a break. I am, I've got to. Uh, as many of you know, I suffered a brain hemorrhage 10 years ago. Let me see, on the 23rd, what is today? 26th? I'm not sure where I was at. I know where I was at, I was at the hospital, I'm sure. But where I was at mentally, if I was alert or not alert or any of that, because I know I was in a coma for a small time anyway, and I know they had to go up in me to put stents and coils in here, I'm not exactly sure where I was at as far as being aware. I'm aware now. <laughs> Trust me. I'm aware now. But... I do get tired easy. They say anytime you have a traumatic brain injury of any kind uh, that damages parts of your brain, your brain has to work harder in certain areas that it didn't have to work as hard before. And they call it, uh, I know what it's called. I know what it's called, what is it called? That's part of it too, I forget what I'm trying to say. But anyway, it's neuro fatigue. That's what it's called. And I get a lot of neuro fatigue. Even just sometimes the simplest of things like listening to music or listening to the radio, listening to an audio book because I have a harder time reading now and stay in focus than I used to, and it tires me more. I do listen to audio books. I've been putting my earbuds in, and I listen to my YouTube channels when I go through the house. That's stuff you don't see on, on film. I'm sitting here thinking, I hope this hadn't turned black and white. It doesn't look like it's going to. I may not be as bright, but I shouldn't be as dull either. <laughs> Only how did I brighten you up? I'm sure I'm going to hear about it, and y'all probably will too. But anyway, I have to a lot of times do quick meals, and uh, I'm going to be sharing a lot of those with you, I'm pretty sure, because uh, they go over well here at the house. 
Uh, when Klaus was here, the meals I cooked went over well. Uh, when my sister was here, they went over well. When the kids were here, out of all the options they had, I guess they went over well. But, while I try to get this snaker going and uh, get a few things done, I'll get that video out to you, I promise. I just have to add a couple of things toward the end because I want to try to do certain people justice by mentioning them. And by mentioning them, I mean people from the uh, Heartland Homesteaders picnic. And then I need to make a couple of phone calls. A dear friend I wasn't able to get a hold of her yet, so I'm going to try to get a hold of her today, uh, hopefully, and check on her. May have a road trip going on this weekend. My husband asked me, did I still want to go? And I said, definitely. But it just all depends on uh, how things are on the other end if, if they fill up the company. So... Without further ado, here's my video on being a short order cook. And do you as women, and some men that are in the kitchen, do you often feel like you're a short order cook? I can't imagine being a family of eight to 10 to 12 more kids. How do they do it? I guess they did it like back in the day when we were growing up. You either ate it or you didn't because that's all we had. And uh, we've come a long way since then, but I think we're getting back into it again, don't you? With uh, shortages at times, options at times. For me, I'm working out of, been working at my pantry pretty much all of September. I don't think you've seen much hauls at all for groceries that set filling stuff, maybe. I think you've seen a few filling things. But I've really not went grocery shopping, which I do plan on doing at least one stock up haul. Then I need to check and make sure what I need. I don't need, need a whole lot, but at the same time, I need to make sure we have what we need. <laughs> Does that make sense? Just a little on the silly side. I've done fed animals, done checked on the chickens. Lucky on the hill, she's do, still doing great. Was going to move the little ones out from the yard last night into the backyard, little side yard I have. They're going to become my offense. And you'll see in a video why they're going to be my offense. But it started thunderstorming. Two days we looked like we were going to get rain. It got cloudy. The girls didn't get out. Eli didn't get out because we knew it was going to rain any minute. Same thing when yesterday before the girls went home, it got real cloudy. And I said, girls, I hate it, but I think it's going to rain. And they didn't want to get out. It didn't rain while they were here. It waited till yesterday evening to come a thunderstorm. It did. So I don't know if I'll move them this evening or tomorrow. I may try to catch that. I need to quit rambling. I need to go have more coffee, <laughs> go sit down. I hope you enjoy this little clip of being a short order cook and who knows one of these days you might see several of them because on a continuous basis, that's what I feel like. I hope you enjoy. Promise to have the second part of last night's this week at some time. And I just wanna try to do the end make sure that everybody that I've met, that I got uh, recognition from, that I can show you so maybe you can go visit with them. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. <laughs> so on with the short order cook video and I'll be back. When I say I feel like a short order cook, I mean it. <laughs> Only took off and left me. Left me with a few instructions, so let's see if I can do this the right way, okay? <laughs> this may be how the rest of the video goes. Eli, he lots 
bacon cheeseburger. So I had bacon bits. I have his cheese, but we're having ours on the uh, double cheese croissant from Walmart. So what I do, I tear his cheese in half and crisscross it over the hole on each side. And that way nothing leaks through. Because he doesn't eat mayonnaise or anything like that. And I can find me a spatula. I've got these uh, Dollar Tree fries, 14 ounces it was. It said five servings, so I, I have to make sure I do it sparingly because we have four people. And it's ketchup, which was also Dollar Tree, believe it or not, back over a year ago. And this is Eli's plate. I'll get I'll get uh, a section cleaned off, and I'll bring you back for the next one. Like I said, you can laugh. For Kenny's, it's some Wonder Bread I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to... I should have opened it up. Saved a little bit of time. But he will have a cheeseburger with mayonnaise ketchup. Tomato. No pickles for him. And I'll bring you back and show it to you when I put it together. I get to use one of my homegrown tomatoes tonight. And to top it off, some good red onion. <laughs> That's his burger. He'll be lucky if he can keep it together. I'll bring no, back when I I'm hungry. She's going to be working on her plate while I take Kenny his, so I'm just going to show it to you. It's just a quick meal, right? It looks Quick sweet, meal. But I'm so we'll hungry. see if she likes it. Okay, for good. Kenny, there's his cheeseburger and his Dollar Tree fries with the seasoning and pork and beans. That's how he's going to eat his and... Omi's um, gonna become a short order cook for a minute. She's gonna show you how we, she's gonna We're so hers. slow at short no. order cooking that he's done eight. He said that was good. He said one of the best. He didn't say the best pan cheeseburger, but one of the Where best. Where is the I'll take that. It's in Papa's car, honey. Now this is no, a dressing, right? Thank you. Sorry oh, about that. I had to answer a little boy. She, did you tell him what she's putting on it? No, I didn't talk yet. She put some cranberry. Wal is it walnut? Yeah, walnut. Do you put some of the Parmesan on it? I don't want salad? It. I don't care for Parmesan. I don't care. Oh, she food. don't care for Parmesan. I don't care much for Parmesan. Parmesan, I can always pronounce it. My people. double cheeseburger got a little bit toasted. <laughs> but that's all right. I'll, I, did I say double cheeseburger? I meant double bagel. Cheese bagel. Okay, sweet people, I can tell you now what I fixed. Ah. This is my cheeseburger. I used my mustard. It was Dijon mustard, and then my meat patty, and Jack, what is that called, that cheese? Parmesan? No, no you see, you didn't. That pepper, oh, pepper, pepper, jack. pepper jack, sliced tomato, and sliced onion. That's my hamburger. And this is the salad. Uh-huh. What is it called again? It's called uh, kale pecan cranberry. It's pecans instead of It's walnut. cranberry and pecan and then the salad dressing. There you go. Get it at one and then my And then my french fries. And I am hungry. And I'm going to enjoy this meal. <laughs> you earned it. So you Bye-bye <laughs> until later. Love you guys. Wait a minute. I'm finished. There you go, Omi. Say bye. 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 <laughs> she might tell you later if she likes it. It looks good. I, this is my meal. And here's little Eli. Hello. I'm <laughs> gonna if I want something sweet dessert, I'm gonna give him sugar. Oh, how no. sweet. He said no. No. But I'm 
I'll be back after I fix mine and show and you how mine is. This is what my plate looks like. Dollar Tree fries, Walmart bagels, you go, uh, meat, Walmart salad, homegrown uh, tomato, and wow. onion. I didn't put these on my bagel because I kind of got my bagel a little crusty. And I figured it might be a little bit more difficult. So I'll just eat it with a fork. But I think it looks good. And quick. I almost swapped off. I told you I'd be back. I hope you enjoyed the video that I showed. And until next time, we'll talk soon.